what are the best 10 trail super light electric mountain bikes for 2024. Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes where you know we only talk e-bikes and today we are looking at the top 10 super light trail electric mountain bikes for 2024. And let me tell you, this list has been so hard to put together. The market has exploded in the last six months. So let's check out my top 10 super light trail electric mountain bikes for 2024. And these are the bikes I would definitely buy with my hard earned cash. They're all killers, no fillers. But first, a big shout out to Shorby, the major sponsor at Sands Bikes. Shorby came on as a sponsor at Sands Bikes, probably like four years ago, seeing value in what I was doing. And I've been riding Schwabies ever since. And I absolutely love my Magic Mary's front and back. But riders, new setup. I've got Tacky Chan front and back. So Tacky Chan on the front, we've got the Ultra Soft 2.4 in the Super Trail. And then on the back, I've got the Tacky Chan in the Soft, in the Super Gravity. That's my setup. I'm saying it is not better than a Magic Mary front and back, just different. I reckon it's faster rolling. You do need to be a little bit more precise. And I'm gonna say the Tacky Chan is my favorite super light electric mountain bike tire. So before we check out those bikes, what exactly is a trail super light electric mountain bike in 2023-24? Well, for me, I'm gonna say anything that is sub 20 kilos, no matter of the power of the motor, or the size of the battery, and anything that has less than 155 mils of rear travel. Anything more than 155 mils of rear travel would be classed, in my opinion, as an enduro super light electric mountain bike. And if you like the sound of that, then subscribe to Sam's Bikes, turn on those notifications, because next week, next Thursday at 6 p.m. European time, we are gonna be dropping that video. And now, enough of that jibber jabber, let's check out the top 10 trail SLs for me in 2024. And number one, the brand new Giant Trance X Advanced E Plus Elite is rolling on mullet wheels, 150 mils of travel at the front and 140 in the rear. A Giant Sync Drive Pro motor would get this 85 Nm meters of power, so it is a full powered electric mountain bike coming with a 400 watt hour battery, or you can also get a 200 watt hour range extender, available in four sizes, starting from 6,499 euros. And riders get this, the weight of the Elite is coming in for a full powered 18.8 kilos. I believe it is the lightest full powered electric mountain bike on the market and riders, if you're a fan of the channel, you might have heard I'm getting mine very soon. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing my first look and my long-term review in the coming weeks of this beast. I'm really excited. I'm loving to see that Giant have shortened the chain stay over the old trance. I believe this one's 445. They've gone a mullet. And I'm also loving the fact that you can ride with a super light e-bike and you can also get the range extender whack it up to the 85 Nm and you can ride with a full powered e-bike group as well, which is amazing. Loving it and I cannot wait to get mine. Number two, the Specialized Levo SL Gen 2. Rolling on mullets, 160 up front and 150 in the rear. The brand new SL 1.2 motor with 50 Nm of torque, a battery of 320 watt hours. You can also get the 160 watt hour range extender the weight is coming in at 17.7 kilos, available in a very impressive six sizes and starting from 7,900 euros. And riders, if you are a fan of the channel, you would know I got my S-Works Levo SL Gen 2 like two weeks ago. I haven't been able to get off the bike and you'll probably see it in the background here. It is a sensational bike. It's an absolute bruiser. I'm having a fantastic time on it. And right, if you want to see my first look, like first like mini review, it's up there. Loving the new motor, loving the geometry, loving the kinematics. Riders, make sure again, subscribe to the channel because I will be doing my 100K thoughts and then my glossary review in the coming weeks. 
2.5, hot off the press, the brand new Santa Cruz Heckler SL. Rolling on mullet wheels, 160 travel at the front and 150 at the rear. Vazua Ride 60 motor with I believe 65 newton meters of torque, a 430 watt hour battery and coming in from 18.6 kilos, available in five sizes and starting from 7,200 US dollars. And as you'll see, we're filming in different location because this bike came out on the same day we're editing this video. Santa Cruz, it'd be great if you could send me the information a little bit earlier. But anyway, great looking bike and I would love to test this. I might actually be testing it in the next couple of weeks. Number three, the Trek Fuel EXE. Rolling on 29 wheels, 150 mils of travel up front and 140 in the rear. TQ motor with 50 Nm of torque and a 360 watt hour battery and you can also get a 160 watt hour range extender. The weight is coming in from 17 to 18 kilos, available in four sizes, coming in from five and a half thousand euros. The Trek Fuel EXE had to make the list. It's a hugely popular bike. Unfortunately, I have not tested it yet. Trek, if you want to send me out, I would love to test one. But what I've heard is the TQ motor is next to silent. That integration on the Fuel EXE is next level. It's hard to tell it's actually an e-bike. And also, now it's available in aluminium frames. So starting from five and a half grand, that is really impressive. Number four, the Orbea Rise. Rolling on 29 wheels, 150 of travel up front and 140 in the rear. Shimano EP8 RS motor with 60 newton meters of torque, 360 watt hour battery or a 540 watt hour. And you can also get a 252 watt hour range extender. The weight is coming in from 15.9 kilos, available in four sizes, coming in from 5,200 euros. I had the pleasure of riding the Rise for a day about six months ago. I had a great time. It is a really good, well-valued electric mountain bike. A lot of my friends in Spain have it, and they're really happy with it. And I'm loving to see in 2023, uh, Orbea are using the Shimano EPA01 motor or the 01RS motor, which I've been told has less clunk or rattle, which is great to see. Number five, the brand new Mondraker Neat. Rolling on 29 wheels, 160 up front, 150 in the rear. TQ motor with 50 Nm of torque, a 360 watt hour battery, and you can also get 160 watt hour range extender coming in from 17.8 kilos and available in four sizes and starting from 7,999 euros. And this is a neat bike from Mondraker. Sorry, I just had to do it. But what a beautiful looking bike. I mean, Mondraker always make beautiful bikes, but this one's super minimalistic and just really beautiful. I think they've done a fantastic job. I'm loving seeing they've gone 160 at the front, 150 at the rear, you know, that TQ motor is Nexus Silent, same motor as we're getting in the Fuel XE. Love to test it. And again, Spanish brand, so maybe Mondraker, you can send it out to me. Number six, the Rottweil RX375. Rolling on 29 wheels, 150 up front and 140 in the rear. Coming with the Shimano EP8 with the full 85 Nm of torque, a 375 watt hour quick release battery, which I absolutely love. Coming in around 18 to 19 kilos, couldn't get the exact weight of this. Available in four sizes, coming in from 7,499 euros. And riders, I had the pleasure of riding this SL from Rottweil very quickly in Austria while I was testing the pinion gearbox motor system. And I'm gonna say I was very impressed. I love the quick release 375 watt hour battery. It's, it works just so well. You can take it out in like literally one second. The kinematics on the bike and also the kinematics on the RX100, 1000 that I was riding. Next level, Rottweil make great bikes and they said they might be sending this one out or the G, which is I believe 170, 160, kind of more my style, out for testing. So fingers crossed that will happen. Number seven, the Pivot Shuttle SL. Rolling on 29 wheels, 150 of travel up front and 132 in the rear. Coming with the Fazua Ride 60 motor 
with 60 Nm of torque and a 430 watt hour battery. Coming in from 17.4 kilos, available in four sizes and starting from around eight to 9,000 euros. I'd have to admit riders, I do have a bit of a sweet spot for this shuttle SL. I love a short 29 trail bike. So this one's got 150 at the front, 132 at the rear. Rolling on 29 wheels, short chain stay. I think this bike would be a lot of fun. I had a Phantom Banshee like a few years back and don't be fooled by the suspension numbers. This would be a very capable, very fun bike. Number eight, Scott Lumen E-Ride. Rolling on 29 wheels, 130 mils of travel front and rear, TQ motor with 50 new meters of torque, a 360 watt hour battery, and you can also get the 160 watt hour range extender. Coming in from 15.6 kilos, which is very impressive, available in four sizes and starting from 6,999 euros. The Lumen E-Ride is a bike that has grown on me. I wasn't a fan of the hidden suspension. I like to see it all. I think it is quite beautiful and I like the engineering look of it. But this bike has definitely grown on me and this style, it's like 130, 130, 29ers. So I'd say it's definitely like on the trail, trail side, definitely not the enduro side and maybe closer to back country. But I think this is a beautiful looking bike coming in at 15.6 kilos. I definitely think it would be a very fun, very dynamic electric mountain bike to ride. Number nine, the brand new Lapierre e Zesty. Rolling on 29 wheels, 150 mils of travel up front, 140 in the rear, Fazua Ride 60 motor with 60 Nm of torque, a 430 watt hour battery, weight coming in around 18 kilos, available in four sizes, coming in from 7,599 euros. I'm loving to see Lapierre updating the original EZSD, which was, I believe, one of, if not the original, super light electric mountain bikes on the market. And this one looks like a great update. And again, I would love to test it. And lucky last riders, number 10, the Nikolai Saturn Swift 14. Rolling on 29 wheels, 150 at the front, 130 in the rear, Bosch SX motor with 55 Nm meters of torque, Battery, 400 watt hours, and it's also available at 250 watt hour range extender. Weight is coming in from 19.4 kilos, available in four sizes, and coming in from 8,999 euros. I was lucky enough to see the new Nikola SL at Eurobike, and I'm gonna say, riders, it was one of, if not the most beautiful e-bikes, or bikes, I saw at Eurobike, I absolutely love the craftsmanship of the aluminium frames. This bike is next level. And again, it's a 150, 130 trail bike rolling on 29 wheels. I believe this bike would be a lot of fun. And there you go, riders. That is my top 10 SL trail e-bikes for 2023-24. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is, what you're looking at buying. And let me know if I missed some bikes which ones are your favorite SLs for this year? I would love to know. And riders, like always, if you haven't subscribed to Sam's Bikes, please do so. Share it with like-minded people. It really does mean a lot, and you know it. Stay safe out there this weekend, and we are gonna see you soon.